So in this video, I'm just going to do a, a quick rundown of what you get with the VW E up in terms of like an entertainment unit. We've got radio, um, obviously right there, digital radio, which is great. So it can display, you know, the song and the artist and everything underneath the station. We've got our temperature just up here as well. And then you can use this control right here to see all of your stations. Or you can um, just literally use the, let me just select one of these. So we push to select. You can use this to skip through the all of the different stations as well. And overall, I find it really logical and really easy to use. If we just click on radio there, you've got FM or you've got DAB radio as well. So we've got everything you need in the way of radio stations. It's dead easy to connect your phone up to via Bluetooth uh, and also AUX as well. You've got an AUX in there as well, but most people will use Bluetooth. And I was able to connect my phone up, import all of my contacts and everything um, very quick and very, very easy. There's no sat nav on this car, but what you do get, let me just grab it down here is you get this, which connects right up on top of here. And you can see there's also um, the ability to charge your phone up there as well. There's a gap in the back of the holder that allows you to put like a little uh, USB lead into your phone so you can charge up. But it just connects on there like that. And then you can just spring load that out. And now you're in a position to just put your phone in and you can use things like, you know, uh, Android's, uh, Android's uh, car. But what the hell is it called? Android Auto, Android Auto and then Apple like CarPlay. And, and then you can use that for your nav. So it really doesn't even matter that much. And, and that's really about it. Uh, other things in the front here as well. You've got obviously heated seats. We can switch on and off uh, lane assistance. We've got front heated heated window, which I absolutely love. Fantastic for those cold days. And then over on this system here, you can see the radio station when it's on the right setting. Look, if I just move it through, there you go. So we can actually see the radio station through here on our dashboard. And then we can also do the volume for the stereo and everything just here and move through the stations and then press that button to mute. So it's all really simple and easy to use. The stereo is surprisingly good. I actually think it's really pretty good in this car. And the speakers, I think they're all in the front. We've got tweeters just there. And then in the doors, you've got a larger speaker. But the bass is quite good and the clarity is quite good. And I was pleasantly surprised um, with the quality of the stereo. Um, I might be able to give you a quick demo, but I don't want to uh, uh, get to YouTube to tell me off for the sound. But there you go. You can kind of hear that now. It's quite surprising. You know, it's quite loud and clear. And I think you'll be happy with the stereo for such a little car. It actually works really well. So that's just a, a quick rundown of the infotainment system of this Volkswagen E up. If you want to grab this car, by the way, you can get it the same way as I did, which is to get it from on to. You can just see a little sticker in the window just there. Um, on to allow you to subscribe to the car so that you don't have to buy it. You can literally just kind of use it for a month at a time and pay them a fixed amount. This was at the time of getting this car. Let me just. It was uh, 399 a month, which is pretty good, really, when you consider that insurance is included, free charging is included, maintenance, everything. It's like your total cost to have this car. It was delivered to me brand new by On2. And then um, that's it. If you want to give it back next month, you cancel it with them and just send it them back. Good if you've got bad credit, too, because you can literally just use a debit card, pay for it, and that's it. There's no credit checks or any of that to get the car. You need to be over, I think it's 21 years old. Um, to be able to have it, preferably a clean license, but I think you may you may even be able to allow, allowed to have a couple of points in your license too in order to get the car. But um, the links underneath, you get fifty pounds off if you use my code, and I get fifty pounds off as well. Um, you know, for for recommending you to them, I guess so be upfront about that but I do recommend I've been using them for like two and a half years so yeah very very good I've had loads of different cars and we'll have more of them and review them on this channel if you like what we've seen if it's been helpful to you to learn more about the VWE up please do like and subscribe it just helps me uh, get more views and uh, we all need more views when you're doing YouTube videos all right thanks a lot have a great day okay bye